All right. All right, all right, all right. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the new Emrys, right? Welcome to the beginning. We're here together. This is an exciting time. I've been thinking about this day for more than two years before I ever joined. This is the day I saw. This is why I came here. We're charting a new path around the human experience because that's what matters in the end. It's what we do. The patient and their family members knowing that their child is getting the best possible care. The neurosurgeon and all of their staff knowing that they have the best environment, the best tools. Right? Our team who designed, created, supports these environments that we're thinking about who is going to use what we do. And then, of course, when you think about us as employees, being able to go home, our families, and say, well, how was work? How did it go? It was awesome. We made a difference today. You can do good while you do well. That's what motivates me. That's why I'm here. I think that's why you're here. And so we're doing this brand relaunch. We're starting this company over based on success. And we're stating publicly to ourselves that we're going to do better than we've done in the past. We're going to aspire to achieve more. So I want to talk to you about a few things. Why are we here? How are we doing? Where are we going? So why are we here? You know, it started just as you saw with a few people who said, we're going to do something no one's ever done before. And everybody says, is impossible. You know it. You know when they came home, they said, we're going to do this. Someone said, you know how heavy those things are? There's no way you're going to be able to do that. But they did. They invented it. They designed it, they built it, they sold it, and it worked so well that respected neurosurgeons actually put the reputation online to study it and publish results that it works better than the alternative. How cool is that? That's our heritage. That's how this started. It's important to remember that. We also know a few years ago, we ran into some trouble. So why start over? Why not fold the tents and say, what a great run? It's not what happened. Deerfield believed in the technology. You believed in the technology. I believed in it. And we put ourselves to work. And for the last two years, we've been working. We've listened to our customers, and we've taken the tough feedback. How many of you think we've done the best job we could possibly do as a company over the last eight years? Nope. Not a one of us. We know that. We have opportunities. And I give credit to you for being strong enough to go to our existing customers, people we know, we've known for a long time, and ask, how can we do better? We understand, and we're committed to figuring out how we can make it right. The clinical team been going in and having these conversations. And the response we get, thank you. Yes, we want to meet with you. Please come in. We have things we want to talk about. We're here because our technology makes a difference. Our customers value it. We don't get to interact with patients, but I believe they value it. They have a choice. We don't think about that, but they have a choice. Hospitals value our technology, and they brand themselves proudly as having our technology. For selfish reasons, to drive revenue, yes, but also pride. Our customers, our neurosurgeons, are deeply and profoundly, professionally proud that they have IMRIS technology. So we're here because we have a job. We have a job that's not done. So we have to continue. So the last two years, that's what we've been doing quietly, working. A friend of mine once told me that you don't build a reputation by telling people what you're about to do. You build your reputation based on what you've done. We're doing this launch today because we've earned the right to say that we're the leader. You've earned the right. It hasn't been easy. We've gone through a lot of changes. Personnel, strategy, I'm flying coach, all sorts of things, right? It's a sacrifice. We've done that together. You don't know this, but I've seen the collaboration go from this to this. 
it seems so simple, you don't really notice it because you're just in the course of your normal interaction with people working together, but you're working together in a different way than you worked together 18 months ago when I arrived. That's paid off. It shows up in the 39 quality improvement team projects that we've identified that hang outside the wall that we're funding that make us better. The reason we're focused on those projects is because we know, you know, we can do better. That's our job. That's our job in front of us. Our customers know we can do better. And when we point to those quality improvement team projects and say, we're working on this, we're telling them we hear you. It's important. That's a fact. That's a statement. It's an activity we've done. That's how you build your reputation. So, how are we doing? Well, we're also here on a two-year anniversary. And I'm happy to say that we announced publicly that we just finished in August our second consecutive year of profitability as a company. Okay. So what are we doing with that money? We're putting it back to work. We're funding the QITs. We're hiring engineers to re-engineer products. Coils among them, table covers. Many of you know that. We're also building new products. That's what we do. That's our job. So we're lucky. We have a commitment to the human experience that drives us to say what matters. Let's focus on what matters. You're talking to each other, which helps us prioritize. I'm not the one with the answers. I say all the time, I don't know. And in case you haven't figured it out, that's actually a true statement. I'm counting on you to say, no, this is the problem. We think this is a solution, but we'll work together to figure it out cross-functionally. I love that. Because in the end, I just get down to how can I help you, not what's the answer. Because I'm not qualified to give you the answer. But I can help you. I can help fund it. I can support it. I can go out and work with customers and partners and take down barriers. I can do a lot of things. But I can't do the important things, which is to understand the problem and figure out a solution. So that's where you come in. So how are we doing? My first measure is, how are you doing? So show of hands. Who thinks we're doing well? How are we doing? That's awesome. So listen, you know from these town halls that I do this on a regular basis. And when we started, it was kind of, first few were a little rough. But you're honest with me. That's what I want from you. So I believe from an employee perspective, we're on the right track. I'm super excited about the people we're bringing in. And I'm incredibly excited about the collaboration. That has to be number one, OK? Number two, we're doing very well financially. That just gives us the, research, the, the, the resources to continue our research and to innovate, which is our job. We have some things in the drawing board that we'll talk about next year. So you know we have to keep a little bit ahead of everybody. But in between then and now, we have some real solutions that are going to make a real difference for our existing customers. And I'm incredibly excited about that. And I know some of you are excited about it, too, because you get to work on new projects. How are we doing with our partners? Our brand is growing. Our customers and prospective customers are coming to us. And I see this. Right? In addition to growing our technical team, our clinical organization, we're growing our sales force, North America. Very excited to see new faces here. We're growing our marketing department, right? We are putting money to work. It's an investment. It means we have confidence and we believe. That's really the key. So these are facts. These are statements. These are historical comments. That's why I'm excited to be here. And the reason that I've been waiting for two years to be here at this point in time is that I don't believe you talk about things until you've done them it's in the bag. That's when it's time to say, yeah, we did that. Everything inside of that is work. We aspire to, we're trying to, transparency, hard work, hustle. That's how you win. I love winning. But on the road to victory is a competition, and we are competing. I'm excited that this is the team that's on the field with us. That's the way I feel. So where are we going? The net of it is we have a bright future. Primarily because when you think about what we're doing from a human experience and you start saying, who do we impact, 
you realize we have a lot of work to make things really perfect. We can do a lot of things. Look at the innovative companies that are cropping up with minimally invasive and non-invasive technology. Who are our customers turning to to say, can you help us with this? Timris, there's a situation with one of our customer cooks. They wanted to have a cable sectional long for one of our innovative partners, and the could, partner couldn't get it. So what happened? Our R&D team jumped in and built an extra long cable to solve this problem so that our customer could use that minimally invasive technology to serve their patients. Did we have to do that? No. Was it our job to do that? No. Was it the right thing to do? Absolutely. And we did it. And I'm proud of that. So where are we headed? Increased empowerment, faster decision making, more resources for some of these projects that we think are really cool. Right? We're going to be doing some things over the next 12 to 24 months that are really going to change our industry. And we get to do them. Now, the only way to do it is we take care of our current customers. We got to go in and keep taking, taking the hard messages. We have to do better in how we're delivering our products, shipping, manufacturing, designing. We have to help our installation team, project management teams get these projects through the door. And that's going to happen through collaboration and communication. We cannot stop. So as we sit here and think about where we are, I'm really happy. And I want to congratulate all of you on a tremendous job over the last two years. You really deserve it. We're here to celebrate. And you should feel good going home. Being over here for the next few days, we have work to do talking about our future. So we're going to have a fun fun few days. And I also want you to have confidence in where we're headed. I want you to own it. My expectation of you is that you own the vision of Emrys. You own the focus on the patient, the neurosurgeon, their family, the human experience. If you want to know how I feel about something, think about how it would impact the humans involved. 